Hey everyone, it's Jeff Douglas with Appear and Tap Coder. I want to show you the CLI that I wrote for Ghost to help me manage the um, transformation of my blog from WordPress to Ghost. Now, I had a lot of crappy content, a lot of old code in there, over five years of blogging, a lot of images I forgot to upload to Cloudinary, so I kind of wrote this tool to help me migrate my blog over. Um, now of course, Ghost is probably going to be releasing their own CLI soon. I heard it's the next release. Um, so maybe this will go away, but hopefully in the meantime you find it useful for you guys to use to maintain some parts of your blog. So just to, to reiterate what it says over here in the repo that this tool does not make any changes to your blog per se. So what it does is you download the settings and, and content from your blog locally and you make changes locally. And then if you want those changes to reflect in your blog, you have to of course copy and paste into your blog. So it's not hooked up any way at all to your blog, okay? So nothing's gonna automatically make changes to your blog. So the installation is very simple, it runs all in Node. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna clone this repo. All right, so, and then we're gonna move into that repo. And then of course we're gonna run npm install since it is using Node. And then what that's gonna do is that's gonna you know, install all the <clears throat> dependencies and then what we're gonna do is we can open this up and you'll see here there's a number of few files in here. One thing that's important to look at first is a configuration. I've got a simple configuration file here. I'm going to rename this to um, just config. You see you're going to put your domain in there, so like blog.jeffdoglas.com. And then if you're using any of the Cloudinary functionality, you're going to want to get your credentials from Cloudinary. So I'm going to go ahead and change this off camera here real quick and paste this in. So I got that there. All right. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and look at some of the functionality we have there. So um, we've got all that stuff done. We're going to, at our, part of our setup, we're going to actually now go and grab all of our files from Ghost. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our Ghost admin. So here's the edit for my blog. And we're going to go to slash debug. And then we're going to download, export this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move that over to our desktop. Let's see here. And I'm just going to paste this into. Let's go in this folder. In this folder here, so you see I got my ghost data here, and I got all of my information from the actual packages here. And then next thing we do is we're going to we're going to actually go into run the CLI and look at some of the help here. So we're going to do go uh, dash bin. Cannot type today. That's going to show us all the functions that are available for the CLI. So, first thing we want to do is we're going to dump all the files. So, what that does is that actually takes each of your posts from Ghost and actually makes a markdown file for that. So, we'll say and so it wrote a file for each one of my blog posts and it saves into a directory underneath called pages. So, if we look at that real quick. You'll see we've got a pages directory now, and we have the markdown for each one of our blog posts. All right. So now that we have that, we can actually start working on with the CLI for different things here. So if we look at help again, one of the things you want to do is you might look at stats for your blog. So you can go for blog stats, and you can look at you know the different stats. I got nine posts, three stack pages, how many users what tags I'm using, what theme I have. Another interesting one you may do is, let's see, uh, you may want to look at the post, the stats for a certain post. So I could do post stats, and I want to do number 13. And the number 13 that also corresponds with what you see in the, in the editor. So if you go to content right here, you'll notice that if I edit this one right here, I get the ID, this ID is 14. So I can go in here and I can say, give me the post stats for 14. And it'll tell me information about that. It'll tell me you know, the UID, the, the title, the slug image, metadata, who, uh, who the author is, are there any tags? Let's see if I have any tags for, I think I have tags for like three. You can see it, so I have, I have tags for three, I show my tags, my author information. So you get all kinds of information on, the, uh, on that post. So one of the things I wanted to do when I was 
migrating my blog over was find crappy code I had in there and then re replace it. So I might want to find, let's see, we can do things like I want to search for all of my files and say find, I want to say space bags. So I did something on space bags. And I didn't find any, any, anything here. Let's try space. Let's try space. Maybe one word. So I found space in, in, in blog post number 13. So I can go into that into that blog post and I could actually, let's see, I could look at 13 right here and find space in here. I'm sure it's in here somewhere there in space bags. So then you may want to do things like you might want to actually now search and replace for things across, across all your files. So you can do a find. Um, you can do a, a replace in, built in with the refine. So you can say, I want to do a replace. I want to play space. I can type with uh, not found, let's say for instance. And I want to do it in 13, in post number 13. I know it's in that post. And it found it in there too. So now if I go back here, it should say not found. So re replace that for you there. Then you may want to find out which which tags, which blog posts are using which tags. So I want to say um, find tag, find tag. Which one's using RV Palooza? And there's three, three or two posts that are using this tag. So that's nice if you want to actually find out those things. So one thing also I want to do is I had a problem. I had all these pages and it was hard for me to get to them. So you can also generate. Um, a table of contents page. So I'm going to say generate a table of contents and that saves a page table of contents. So now I can go down here in the pages directory and there's a table of contents and I've actually pasted that in my blog. So if I go to like Jeff Douglas slash TOC you can see I, I just basically put a table of contents up there. So it's pretty, pretty easy to find pages this way versus searching through the ghost UI. Uh, another thing I might want to do is I might want to check for 404 pages because I did notice that some things with with Ghost is it tells you that it it has a post on a certain date but it's off slightly based on I think the time zone error so I could do um, check 404 check is it check 404 I think check for yeah 404 check sorry 404 check and it's going to run through all of my all of my posts and see if they actually exist by that URL. And you see, I've got it returns 200s for all these, and I've got one that returns a 400. And I noticed that, so that's number six. So if I go into my blog admin and change it to number six, I've noticed that if I have this this time, if it's anywhere near like 2100 or later, it always it makes it the next day. So it's supposed to be 14 March. But now it's been successfully updated to 14 March. So now if I run this again, I get all 200s. So that's something that I noticed. And I'm assuming it's some time zone issue with the uh, with the UK. Uh, then another thing you can do is you can actually upload files to um, to Cloudinary. So um, it's interesting thinking. So I can go ahead. I can put. Um, let's see. Let's go back here. I can take uh, these images. Let me take a couple of images here. And I can put them in this images directory, and I can run. Let's see. Let me look at my images real quick here. So there's my last images, and now I can do. I can do. Um, so it's going to take all of the files in the images directory, and it's going to upload them to Cloudinary. There's all my files now, so if I refresh, I should see my two new files I got up there. Yes, there's the man riding the the suitcase and my paper clip. So that's interesting to do if you've got a whole bunch of files you want to upload to cloud Cloudinary. There's also what you can do. You can just say you can give a URL too. So I may want to have things like oh I don't know what's this one right here, copy link address. So I may want to upload this one too. So I could do I could do URL to Cloudinary and pass it that. Oh, let's see. Uh, let me find a good image here. Um, hang on a second, let me pause this real quick here. Okay, so I got it right here. So let's see, I'm going to upload this picture. Let's see, what is this picture? A picture of a pug with a chicken face on. So I want to upload that to Cloudinary. 
you know, grab that, upload the Cloudinary, and give me the URL back, I believe. Let's see. There we go. So there's the new URL it gave me back. And now if I look in Cloudinary, I should see it. Oh, there's the blog. Okay, cool. Um, so another thing I did is I lost a lot of my images, or some of my images, while I was actually uh, moving things over. So I had a problem where I couldn't actually, I had to go back to the internet way back machine and find a lot of my images. So I wrote something that does, um, it searches for my images in the way back machine. So if I know I want to do find, oops, and I want to do find in way back, way back, way back. I want to find, oh, that's not the right URL. I want to find this URL right here. There's an image right here I want to find. All right, so it's this one right here. This one's from my original blog on WordPress. I want to find that one. It'll search Wayback Machine, and there it goes. So I found my image, so here's the original the image in the Wayback Machine, and I could, in theory, use that one and upload that to Cloudinary and add that add that to my site. So, so that's most of the, um, that's most of the things you can do with the CLI. If you'd like to see some more functionality in there, you know, add an issue to the repo or drop me a line. Um, would love to make some more changes. Hopefully the one that Ghost does would be much better than mine. Um, but if it's useful, great. If not, hey, I tried. Um, it came in handy for me when I ported mine over from WordPress. There you go. Thanks a lot.